We're here to tell you to forget about playing Blu-ray movies on your Windows computer. What's happening? NJRoot22.com here with another tech tip and it's about Blu-ray movies and Windows computers. Just so you know, these days you can practically stream anything online, even from nefarious free streaming sites across the globe. But we also think it's a waste of time almost to watch any movies. But most people in this country love movies, so we're going to talk about it anyway. And the reason we bring this up is because we did actually watch, want to watch one classic movie from the 1960s called Lawrence of Arabia, which we only have on Blu-ray. It's like an epic four-hour movie that was just truly special in a league of its own. It was made in a way that's not seen anymore today, including visual powerful scenes where there was like no dialogue for like 20 minutes and it was shot on a super wide 70 millimeter format. But having kids and no real TV in the house anymore, we still want to watch it on our computer using headphones so we wouldn't disturb the sleeping family late at night. The Blu-ray experience on your Windows computer completely stinks. Why does it stink so bad on Windows? For one, there's no built-in support for Blu-ray movies on your computer. You need to buy a separate application, usually around 100 bucks or so, and you need an internet connection at all, time, all times to validate your movie. It's some kind of licensing arrangement with Hollywood. And this is on top of the $100 or so that it costs to buy an internal Blu-ray drive for your PC. And weirdly enough, the $50 Blu-ray player that you plug into your TV doesn't need any of that crap. Whatever. And, but your computers can play $50, I mean, uh, DVDs, no problem, regular DVDs. Now keep in mind there's free programs such as VLC that can play Blu-rays, but it requires so many hacks, and it's very unreliable due to these Java requirements they have. In other words, it's just buggy and annoying. It's not fun. It's not worth it. And there's other free players out there that exist that are complete garbage. I wouldn't recommend installing them on any computer ever. And even the paid ones have way too much going on. They have all these all-in-one suites with burning, ripping, and all this other stuff that most people don't want or need. I just want to watch a movie on my computer. I don't understand why they can't just make it easy and simple. It seems to be just another way that the mainstream movie industry likes squeezing money from every possible situation for as long as they possibly can. Maybe that's why they're in severe trouble today. <laughs> and that is exactly why we gave up trying. It's just not worth the effort. Not one elegant, simple and flawless solution for just playing Blu-ray movies on your PC exists. If it does, please show me one that works 100% of the time out of the box with no tinkering required. So please take our advice here and avoid it at all costs. Stick to watching Blu-rays on your regular TV or no movies at all. And please, never on a phone. Who does that? Why would you want to watch a full movie on a tiny phone? But I have to say, if you're crafty, you can find a way to download movies as a regular MP4 MP4 file on your PC, which we feel would be morally okay if you owned the license to watch the movie, i.e. you own the physical copy. Otherwise, we cannot recommend that you do that unless you assume all the risk. 